For decades, actress Bette Midler and her husband lived in a stunning three-level penthouse in New York City's Upper East Side. Purchased back in 1996 for a paltry $3.5 million, the Beaches star surprisingly decided to sell the home she adored last year. However, it was to the tune of $50 million. Now, someone else can enjoy Bet's 14 room mansion in the sky, which dates back to 1925, offers amazing views of Central Park and luxury amenities like 3,000 square feet of outdoor terraces and gardens. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Bette Midler is an actress, comedian, singer, songwriter and more who has a career in the entertainment industry spanning over five decades. After getting a start on Broadway since 1970, she has released 14 studio albums as a solo artist, selling over 30 million records worldwide. Not to mention, Midler made her film debut in the musical drama The Rose, which also won her the Golden Globe. She went on to star in multiple films, from Beaches to Hocus Pocus and many more. Beth's Hollywood career also provided her with a fortune estimated to be around $250 million. While the star sold her long Time Manhattan penthouse. She also owns a New York country home in Dover Plains, but she keeps that one super private. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, and today we're checking out where Bette Midler calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Bette surprised everyone when she decided to finally let go of her longtime home base in New York City. But let me tell you, after the price she sold the abode for, she really has the wind beneath her wings now. Yes, the award-winning singer and actress purchased her home way back in 1996 with her husband of 36 years, Martin von Hasselberg, for a measly $3.5 million. That's nothing when you consider the prices of the New York real estate market these days. Even factoring in the upkeep bills, renovation, and two-year extensive remodel by architect Frederick Fisher, that still made a killing. In spring of 2021, she sold her stunning Manhattan penthouse for a jaw-dropping $50 million, exactly the price tag she was hoping for. Located in the Upper East Side neighborhood of Manhattan, this sprawling 14-room penthouse unit occupies the top three levels of one of the finest pre-war dated co-op buildings on Fifth Avenue. Posh residential Upper East Side of New York City is known for its wealthy residents, fancy restaurants, and designer shops along Madison Avenue. It's a pretty neighborhood boasting a mix of classic brownstones and upscale high-rises. A stretch of Fifth Avenue called Museum Mile next to Central Park draws crowds to famed places that include the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the Guggenheim Museum, and more. Bette's building was designed by renowned architect Emery Roth in a neo-renaissance style and completed way back in 1925. It offers unbeatable views of Central Park and the Manhattan skyline and, of course, Bette's apartment had the best ones of all, sitting in the penthouse position. Her 14-room Fifth Avenue abode covers the top three levels of the building, 15, 16, and 17 floors, and spans a massive 7,000 square feet of space with over 3,000 additional square feet of outdoor terraces and gardens. Before Bette and her husband moved in, they had the home drastically remodeled. Walls were removed, ceilings were raised, and oversized windows were brought in to flood the place with natural light. The floors were decked out in oak, while rooms were decorated in a palette of neutral shades for the most part, with the help of designer Fernando Santangelo. The bedrooms in Bette's penthouse, on the other hand, are a bit more playful, a few of which have bright colors and patterns. In total, there are six bedrooms and seven baths throughout. Arriving at the penthouse, you step out of the private elevator to the main entryway. Here, there's a spacious light-filled gallery that flows into the open entertaining area with soaring ceilings overhead. Here, there's a double living room, a formal dining room, a south-facing conservatory area, an office, and powder room. The impressive curved staircase with brass banisters connect the three levels of Bette's home. The main living room opens to one of the cozy terraces, and the room is anchored by a classic wood-burning fireplace set in ceramic tiles. Now beyond that, we arrive at Bette's kitchen. 
The sunny Eden kitchen is airy and features a center island, custom-made wooden cabinets, marble counters, and stainless steel appliances. These top-of-the-line additions include a massive stove hood, Fisher and Paykel range, Sub-Zero fridge, and more. Every cook's dream. On the level of the home which has the bedrooms, there's also a cozy family room and a laundry room. There's one colorful red painted bedroom and another bright one, while other sleeping quarters have have softer color schemes. One bedroom has a separate sitting area, while two of the six bedrooms face Central Park and boasts large ensuite baths and dressing rooms. Beth's former master suite was located in the corner of the home and offered oversized windows, natural light, a private study or office, as well as a wood burning fireplace. Most of the top floor in the penthouse was occupied by a library boasting 13 foot tall ceilings, full height built in bookshelves, another wood burning fireplace, and plush seating. This space also has a music room area, and from another angle, we can see the room's floor to ceiling windows. While the first level of Beth's mansion in the sky has an outdoor space with greenhouse and sitting area, the top level opens out to an even more impressive terrace. The expansive 3,100 square foot rooftop garden. According to listing materials, this charming space has sweeping Central Park and reservoir views. It's lined with thriving plants and provides plenty of sheltered spots for alfresco eating, relaxing, and soaking up the sun. Midler revealed that aside from the others she worked with on the penthouse, Brian Sawyer of Sawyer Alberson was the landscaper who decked out the rooftop garden. The only downside of the outdoor space according to Bet was that it was impossible to grow her favorite flowers at such a height, peonies. Either way, nature is close to Beth's heart. In 1995, the entertainer founded the New York Restoration Project, which is a conservancy which has planted trees, renovated gardens, restored parks, and transformed open spaces for communities throughout New York City's five boroughs. While it may come as a shock that Beth let go of her beloved Upper East Side residence in an interview with the New York Times, she said the decision to unload their longtime abode was so that they could downsize since their daughter Sophie von Hasselberg had moved out. While Bette often referred to the home as her country house in the city, she also said it's time for another family to enjoy it. And for $50 million, well, I sure hope that they will. While Bette let go of her haven in the city, she still owns some property outside of Manhattan. She and her husband purchased a country retreat in Dover Plains, a hamlet located in Dutchess County, New York, quite a handful of years ago. Details are slim, but it said the home spans 5,918 square feet of space with four beds, four baths, and was built in 2004. We may not be able to see the inside of the main home on the property, but we have gotten a glimpse at the pool house, which is certainly one of a kind. Beth's husband Martin is an artist, and in 2019 he gave a peek of the New York property, what looks like a church from the outside that's actually used as a pool house, and it's actually super playful and bold within the walls. Martin told El Decor, I wanted to build something that looks one way on the outside, but was totally, radically not that on the inside. They constructed the 1,200 square foot penthouse from the ground up, and Martin worked with decorative artist Nancy Kintish to bring his vision to life. He claimed he wanted to avoid neutral, and that they did. The structure has pops of color in its interiors, boasting pink lacquered flooring, blue patterned wallpaper, and bright dining chairs. Definitely a fun space for a pool party. While the color is contained to mostly the inside, the rear exterior wall facing the pool offers white wood siding that has been painted with bright green stripes. Martin added about this feature, it's like a mullet, all business in the front, party in the back. Well, we can only wonder how the main house on the property looks. All right, so now we've taken a look at where Bette Midler calls home, or called home that is, as she's just sold her impressive Upper East Side crib for a whopping $50 million. We also know that she owns that country retreat in New York, and it's said she maintains a home in Los Angeles too, but she keeps these places much more private. Anyways, what did you guys think of Bet's three-level Manhattan penthouse? Would you part with it if you were her? I'm pretty sure anyone would at that price. What was your favorite feature? Be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye!